Hi guys, welcome to Pulse. As a new user or a new subscriber, uh, you should receive an email that looks something like this. Uh, so when you get this, go ahead and click on the link and we're going to take you to our page to set your password and confirm your account. So we're going to sign in here, add in our email address, and put in our password. And we need to make sure that we abide by these four rules here when setting a password. Um, it's just to make sure it's secure enough and complex enough that uh, it's not easily gotten into. Once we've got all these filled in, we hit Save Password. And we should get a confirmation here that it's been changed. You'll also get an email um, saying that your password has been uh, updated. If you click on that link again, it'll take you back to the login page so we can actually log into your site. And we should have some data here for you. Um, this will be based on what you have in point currently. So if you don't have any files in point and you're new to that, um, Unfortunately, nothing will show up because we don't have anything to pull in. Um, but if you do have point files, they should show up in some form here for you. It may not be perfect yet, but we will get it working for you uh, in the best way possible with your training call. Um, but firstly, we do want to make sure that our profile is set up. So if we go up here to the top right corner, it uh, should have your initials. And if you click on that option or that button and go to My Profile, you can actually enter uh, your phone number, uh, mobile number, fax, NMLS if you uh, would like to do that in your loan officer. You can add a picture. Um, you do need to make sure that it's uh, small enough. So you may need to use something like paint um, off your computer to resize a headshot if you have one. And also uh, your signature. If you have an email signature and you wanna make that uh, kind of the consistent format in our system. By default, we do not use the signature uh, to insert your information into our emails. So if you would like to use that, please let us know. Um, otherwise, we will not be using this um, within our basic setup. But we can make sure to add in um, our information in here. So we're gonna grab our telephone number, paste that in here, and we're gonna take our signature and also paste that in here at the same time. Now, if you have pictures or images um, and like links to Facebook or LinkedIn or all those other systems, um, we may need to help you with those images as they do have to be hosted. Um, so they have to be out there on the web for us to be able to access. Um, not a terribly complicated process. Just let us know if you do have that. Um, but if it's something more like this formatting where it's just text, um, those are things you can paste in if you have it in your email signature or just type up if you want to design something in here. Um, once your content is all in there and your profile is updated, we'll just click save and it'll refresh and have all your information in it. Now for some basics in Pulse, um, we do have four views is what we call them. Um, so leads, loans, pipeline, and contacts. And these are going to be information about your files, just kind of breaking them up into different manageable pieces. Um, so our leads view is going to look at primarily our active leads folders uh, in point. Um, you may call them by other things, origination, um, prospects, leads, anything like that. Um, it does not, however, refer to the radio button that you'll see in point that says borrow or prospect. It would just be that drop down name um, of your folder if you call it prospects. Um, our loans view is gonna look more at the uh, in process, processing, uh, underwriting, whatever you call that other folder that you move things to. Um, hopefully you're using two folders in your process at least. So a starting folder of some name. And then once it's become an actual loan file, um, you move it to another folder for uh, continuing work, um, finishing it out. Um, that second folder, whatever you call it, is gonna basically represent this view. Um, now you can have several folders doing uh, that entrance um, new file kind of process and several folders in point doing the 
processing, continuing to close kind of process. Not a big deal for us. We can take all of those, however many you have, and combine them. And that's kind of what we're doing here with this view. Um, so we do point out some different pieces of information that's important here in our columns. Um, you can make additional views in this top uh, button here if you hit add a view. We'll cover that in more detail in the training call. Um, but the next view that we give you is the pipeline view. And this, as you'll notice, is all files that I've got. Um, it's in my closed folder, it's my processing folder, my archive folder, which is my canceled, as I'm calling it. Um, so all files all together. And if you have a big report that you're looking for, maybe spanning the year or several locations or something like that, um, this is the view that you kind of want to use to find that stuff. Could just be something too, if you have no idea where your file is in your point system, this is a great view because it's going to look at everything. Our last view here is our contacts. Now this is kind of um, a little tricky to work with because really our system is focused more on the loan um, or the lead file itself. So the contacts are going to be cards that we make of people's information. Um, so it's not necessarily a, a huge working space for us. It's, it's more of a tracking or linkage system for us. So as you have leads and loans and things like that, um, we recognize who the borrower is, the co-borrower, everything like that. And in the contact itself, uh, we do link all those together. So you may see over here, uh, this is within the contact card for uh, Robert Abbott here. And it's got a referral count, lead and loan count. Um, so this is kind of how we're using this card to link all these loans together. Also has some basic information about the person. Um, it does include social, so please beware, uh, it does have sensitive information as well. Now one last thing, uh, just some basics about what we're showing you within a uh, lead or loan file. Um, so this is a loan file, we're in our processing folder. Um, so we do give you some overview about the file, um, rates, uh, payments, loan amounts, things like this. Um, but most importantly is our contact information down here. Now this is pulling directly from point, so please make sure that if you have agents, you're attaching those uh, and filling in the appropriate information in the track agent page of point. Um, your borrower and co-borrower fields, those are going to be mandatory either way for both systems, but uh, we do pull that in in here so you can see our co-borrower and our borrower. Um, mortgage broker here from the uh, track agent page, same with our lender. Uh, looks like we didn't quite complete that, so uh, we're missing the contact name, but we have our company and our telephone number, so we do have some information. As the file progresses and more people get added to it, they will show up in here. Um, we also have a details tab that gives us a little bit more information, kind of uh, broken down 1003, if you will. It's not the entire form, but it does give you some basic information about them, their location, uh, credit scores. Uh, loan summary, things like that, income. Um, our next tab is going to be our activities space. This is going to be things uh, that Pulse has done for you, which may not have a lot right now, um, and things that you may put into the conversation log, um, statuses that you've updated. So you can see here that we have our prospect status, which is that very first one in the list uh, on your track page. Uh, application, which is the next one, and a couple of things in here from the conversation log. Uh, we've also added some activities, which would be these buttons at the top, to our file. Just as reminders, we need to do things. Apparently the loan got uh, stuck a little bit behind here, so we made a, a reminder here to get this uh, feedback on the loan, um, make sure that we're catching up and, and getting all the information we need. Uh, we can do these as tasks, calls, or emails. It's just a different labeling system here to indicate the action you need to do. And our take notes here, which indicates uh, or writes to the conversation log, like this block of information here. Um, so this will show up in point. These will not. These will be in pulse only. Uh, we do have a number of other features in here. We'll talk about all those in the training call. Uh, you can also sign up for our other ongoing training that happens across the week. 
Uh, there's a number of courses we offer, so please feel free to take a look at those, and we hope to see you soon.